the Atollic True Studio project wizard is used to create a new project containing all files and settings needed in order to start developing your own embedded application. It is possible to create both C and C++ projects by clicking on one of these two icons. In the project wizard, the user must first give the project a name and then choose a project type. A number of different types of projects can be created. The project types are executable, shared library, static library, and makefile projects. In this video, we will make an embedded C project of executable type. Therefore, choose executable embedded C project and click next. In the following step, the user must configure the target hardware. True Studio supports all major microcontroller vendors on the ARM market. If the device used is not explicitly supported in this list, it is possible to create a generic project that can be tailored to fit your microcontroller device. This is done by selecting vendor ARM and then the corresponding CPU core your device is based on. Select the microcontroller family of your choice to filter out only relevant processors. Select the processor core of your interest. With these hardware selections, a project will be generated that can be tailored to work for any Cortex-M4 processor. This approach should only be used if your device is not available in the project wizard when selecting the vendor of your choice. However, in most cases, the devices are available. If you will be using an evaluation board, then select the desired board from the list. If you're working on a custom hardware, then select the correct microcontroller device microcontroller list can be filtered on microcontroller family. When selecting a microcontroller, the wizard will set up all needed settings for the project. This includes build settings for the specific processor, peripheral firmware library if available, and ARM core libraries. If the user instead chooses an evaluation board, the wizard will additionally typically generate a board access layer. The board access layer may include APIs to LCD displays or push buttons and so on. Floating point implementation can be chosen for microcontrollers with AFPU, as well as which floating point units to use. The code location selection will determine how the linker script is generated for the project. Instruction set and endiness can only be changed for devices where this is configurable. After configuring the hardware, it is time for software configuration. True Studio have two alternative runtime library implementations, Newlib Nano and Newlib Standard. Newlib Nano creates a smaller footprint on the project when using some runtime library functions, at the cost of reduced functionality. The user may want to experiment to find the best fit for the project, and these settings can be changed afterwards. TinyPrintf is an even smaller implementation for some functions in the printf family. This will automatically override the chosen runtime library. The system calls file contains call stubs to enable I/O redirection. This file comes in two different versions with different heap management. By default, the compiler puts all functions and data into subsections, such that unused code data can be removed from the project by the linker at linking time. The debugger configuration allows the user to choose which JTAG hardware debug pro that will be used to interface with the microcontroller. By default, TrueStudio will generate two build configurations, debug and release. Debug contains debugging information and uses no optimization. Release is used for the released product. By changing build mode, the project can be built with debug instrumentation or optimized for a release delivery as needed. Clicking finish will generate the files and folders needed, which are based on the settings configured previously. Almost all these settings can be changed at a later stage. These settings are found in the build settings or debug settings configuration dialog boxes. More information about the project wizard is available in the user guide which can be accessed from the information center.